You know what I mean? Half of the time, I'm like, mm. So anyway, the next incident that I really wanted to talk about, and I'm kind of rushing because it's unreal. I posted another post, right? And I post different things about finance, about motivation all the time. All the time. The motivational post, nothing. I get likes, crickets, people comment, this and that. Post something about financial literacy. I promise you. And I think most people who are in some kind of MLM, post something about business, invest in anything, know exactly what I mean. So, I posted um, some posts about investing in a house versus a car. Everybody who is anybody? Oh, I'm kind of, I wish you guys could see me right now. I'm kind of like just ugh, clinching right now. It drives me crazy. Anyone knows that a vehicle depreciates, whereas your, your house, at the end of the day, you could always resell it. It can appreciate it, depending on your neighborhood, market value, all, all these things. Are you kidding me? Yes, there were people who had an argument. Oh, by the time you add in repairs and you add in, like, they're so intellectual, it's unreal. And, and I'm just like, what are you talking about? You know, you can justify at the end of the day anything that you don't want to do. That's your prerogative. It does not mean that you are right. So what do I do? The same thing that I'm telling you not to do. I don't retaliate to these kind of comments. I educate. I go online, I find facts, I find figures, and I just post it on the, under my post, under the comments. It ends the argument every time. Shut down. Period. I think most of these actually incidents happen in like ent entrepreneurial groups, you know, these Facebook groups, which I kind of just stop interacting in these groups because I found that some of the most, like, um, I want I don't want to be too harsh with my words, but I don't want to say ignorant and arrogant, but some of the know-it-all people are quote-unquote entrepreneurs. And I don't know why. Being an entrepreneur does not mean that you have to prove to people that you're smarter or you're super smart. Show me results, though. If your business is thriving, if you're doing well, that's enough for me. I really don't care about you trying to prove that you have the business smarts or the this, it does not faze me, does not impress me. And I think most people think for some reason, if they are some kind of other entrepreneur and they they meet a network marketer, they have to prove to them that they are the better or more authentic entrepreneur. Nonsense. Nonsense. That makes absolutely like no sense to me. And nine out of 10, I promise you, a true network marketer really does not even care. We are about our customers, our services, our product, marketing, and making them money. We really could care less. What do you think? Or we would not be network marketers. Promise you. If you find a network marketer who really cares about what people think of them, <laughs> they're in trouble. We don't care. I'm just telling you right now. We don't care. All right? And if you're a network marketer, I know right now you're like, ah, tell them. We just don't, okay? Now, because I'm kind of running out of time and kind of, you know, need to rush up. I knew this part, I'd have to continue it next week. So, I have this guy I'll call my number one Instagram fan. And I really like him. Um, he's an older man. Some people might find people like that annoying, but, all right, y'all. So if I post something inspirational or about health or something, he's fine with it. He likes it, I can slide. I post something about, let's say, Warren Buffett or Bill Gates. Uh, he has to come and comment and they're the devil and they're evil and he, um, you know, and, and he uses Bible verses like out of context and you know, and I'm smiling half of the time because I'm I'm like really I I don't like to use the term religious for a lot of reasons, but I'm really um 
can I say spiritual? Like, I'm really entwined with Christianity and who I am, okay? In, in, in that aspect of my life. So, I know the Bible. I know Bible verses. And I think it's funny that of all the things that he could come at me with, he comes with it. So, um, I'll tell you guys a little more about that in next week's episode. But I'll just, I'll just leave you with this. Um, he, <laughs> I love it. He just like, seriously has a problem with money and wealth. And he believes that everything on earth was made by God. And when God made it, he said it was good and it was finished. And we don't have to work for anything. And we don't have to do anything. But we're going to talk about my number one Instagram fan in the next episode i promise you guys like you want to tune in you want to hear a little more about it and how i deal with him i don't belittle him you know the, the last few times i've just asked i had to kind of ask him to stop you know with one particular conversation because i was just like this is too much but um like i said coming back to the original topic educate do not retaliate your reputation is at stake, the reputation of the company, your brand, the company's brand, all of that um, entwined in one. If you're a network marketer, your job is to educate people on your product, your service, and on uh, multi-level marketing, network marketing, internet marketing, affiliate marketing um, as a whole. Um, whole. Did I just say whole? Whole. Um, not to take offense when somebody doesn't understand, appreciate who we are, what we do, or even business, lifestyle, anything like that. Um, so that's just what I wanted to um, leave you guys with. That was a, a chronicle in my journey in network marketing, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you learned something from this episode today. And like I said, we'll continue next week and go into a few more serious tactics, right? This is just like, you know, kind of just an intro to getting into the meet next week. All right. So, man, time flies when I get on this podcast. It's unreal. All right. So, it's now time for my favorite part of this podcast. Do -do -do power play all right so today's power play is basically a recap of last week and a few add-ons um like i said i started the podcast with the whole dentist thing if you didn't listen um to last week's episode then you probably don't know why i started with that you want to follow up with that so um most entrepreneurs forget that um you have a business not a job if you have left your job to become a full-time entrepreneur, guess what? Your benefits are now on you, 9 out of 10. Some companies offer benefits. Um, like I said, my MLM offers a life insurance. Yay! So I don't have to worry about that. But um, we tend to forget that we assume the responsibilities. We are now the boss and the employee. Unless you have employees under you, then you now have employees. If you have a downline, you need to let them know this. If you have um, employees, like I said, you need to ensure that, um, I don't know, either you get it for them or they do it. I'm not really sure. Uh, depends on your situation. But uh, health insurance is a must. It's not something that you use every day. I think you should use it annually. Do I use it annually? I'd be lying if I said that I did, but I need to start doing it. I'm getting older. Um, it's something that you may not use every day, but you need to protect you and your family. You never know when you're going to need it. Emergencies do arise. Things do happen. I learned that the hard way. I'm helping you avoid. This is what this whole podcast is about. I'm helping you avoid some of my mistakes. Hey, we don't all have to go to the negative. Some of us can help the other one not achieve it. All right, I'll go into it. Dental insurance. Please get dental insurance, please. Like, please. Because you never know when it's going to happen. Dental. Um, if you get dental, might as well get vision. So 
insurance and a health savings, right? I kind of rushed that part last week. So, um, and somebody inboxed me like, what am I talking about? So some companies, I think like, um, what was it? Healthcare Advantage? Is it the Cigna? I can't remember. But, um, maybe Fidelity, I can't remember. But, um, or you can do it to your bank or however, but a health savings. There are actually like health savings plans out there from the insurance companies. Um, that you can get where you put money aside from your bank account or your check or whatever every week to help cover these copay costs when they arise. I think that's like super important um, because sometimes we just kind of go paycheck to paycheck or, um, you know, overspend or I don't know. But I'm just saying like, it's like super important to have a health savings. You never know when you need it. Even if you don't use it for like 10 years and you can pay the Kobe out of pocket, it might come in um, handy one day. All right, time is really going. Um, so life insurance, that's kind of where I was going today with this. We know we need a health dental, uh, health savings, life insurance. Guys, life insurance is important. Um, when my grandfather died, he had life insurance, but for some reason he didn't tell anyone who his beneficiaries were. And I'm, I can't even begin to go into the hell that we had to go through to get that sorted out, um, to deal with all of his stuff. Life insurance is important. Protect the ones that you love. Um, and I'm glad that he had life insurance, like I said, but just a lesson from this story, make sure you let your beneficiaries know who they are, what they have to do a little bit at the time. Hopefully they won't kill you before the time. Haha. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, um, life insurance is something that you need. Like I said with me, I have it in my M, M, M. But it's something that you need as an entrepreneur. You're now in charge of your stuff. <laughs> So, network marketers, internet marketers, affiliate marketers, and all kinds of entrepreneurs, you need to get life insurance. Cover your family at all costs if something were to happen to you, even if you feel you have a youth savings account that they can bury you with. And I mean, when you die, it's nice to leave them a little something. You know, they're already kind of missing you. Just saying. All right, guys. That's it for today. It's been a pleasure as always. Hope to see you soon. Bye. See you next time.